Leanne from Nalal Home Skills. I'm back for a floss tube. Um, I can't remember, I'm sorry. I do this every time. Um, I'm back for a floss tube, which is an episode where I'm talking about my cross stitch patterns that I've been working on since last time. Um, all my whips works in progress, so it's just, yeah, what I've been working on about my my hobby that I just love doing. It's um, a great relaxing, or what I find relaxing, um, thing I do. Today is Wednesday the 21st of August 2024. If you hear weird noises, I've got some doves that are trying to um, nest in our patio and the fan on the fire is going. I live in Perth, Western Australia, so we are in winter, um, so if you're wondering why the fan's going. Hi everyone. Um, I was supposed to draw for a giveaway, but my mental, I apologise, that'll be the next one. Um, unless I manage to do it at the end and throw it in, but I just, I felt like I needed to do a video. I didn't have the mental capacity for anything else. If that makes sense. Yeah, um, I've worked on a couple of pro projects. Did finish one. Well, I'll show you my fully finished. This is Mini Calendar October by Hayley at Stitching Cabin. I will link her down below. Um, I finished this one I can't remember if it was early this year or late last year. I think it was early this year, honestly. Um, but I've actually finished it into a little pillow. I'm finishing the series into a little pillow. The series does come in Northern and Southern Hemisphere. And I've done all of the Northern now because I've finished the last one for the Northern Hemisphere. And I've done some of the Southern Hemisphere, so... Um, that's my finished little pillow. Ugh. This is my November from the same series. All the borders are the same. I've been using 14 count Ada with the... <coughs> Sorry. Um, itchy throat. Hopefully I don't do that again. Um, 14 count Ada 2 over 1 and this one's with all the called four colours. Some of them I've changed the colours slightly but that's not mine. And I'll turn that one into a pillow. I was trying to do it before this video but I just didn't get there. I did this one instead. So that one will sit in my little tray of other the pillows going on. And I've got the the backing material chosen for it and everything so it's just uh got to work on it so yay <sighs> what else have i worked on um actually before i work on i will show you what i bought um there will be a story behind it but i will show you what i bought i have bought the from tiny modernist Oh, don't glare on me. That is a terrible picture. I'm sorry. Um, why does it do this sometimes? I don't know. So it's the Edgar Allan Poe tree by the type. Oh, maybe that'll. That's better. That's better. So you can actually see it. Lots of greys and blacks and. Um, is the pattern. I think it was Hannah from the Oki Stitcher mentioned it and I'm like oh looked at it and I'm like nope I'm not going to buy it I'm gonna think about it. look it I've got oh I actually like that I love his po poetry um so that's why um I was actually talking about his poems to my boys this morning so um and Yes, so I was thinking about it and thinking about it and I'm like, yeah, not, yeah, 
no, I won't buy it just yet. And I've kept thinking about it and I might. So this morning I actually bought it. Yesterday though, because I've been thinking about it for maybe two months. Um, here in Western Australia, we do book week. Um, the kids in primary school dress up as their favorite book characters. I'm sure it happens around the world. Um, favorite book characters and do a parade at school for their assembly. Ours is this week. My niece's is next week and I'm doing, helping do her costume too. But yes, yeah, so we've got book week. My baby's like, I want to be a pirate. Okay, well, we've been pirates before. I can, we've got most of the costume. Yep. You sure you want to be a pirate? I want to be a pirate. Yep, no worries. I'll make you the map again because that's made out of card and it just doesn't seem to last. And we've got the rest of the costume. Yep, sure, no worries. My other one's like, I want to be Gandalf out of The Hobbit. He's been reading The Hobbit. He's nine. He likes The Hobbit. Yep, no worries. Like, okay, I think I can do the Gandalf costume. I've got bits and pieces. So I found him a beard. I found him his pipe because he's always smoking his smoke rings and um, yep. For the pointy hat that you see in the movies I found a black witch's hat and I'm like all right I'll see if I can dye it hopefully I found a cape for if he wants it over cape again it was in black because we've got lots of witch costumes coming up to either book week or Halloween's um apparently we've got Halloween costumes out at the moment in spotlight yeah um I'm like, okay, well, I'll see if I can dye it grey because Gandalf's grey. Yep, no worries. I've got the cane, I like a star, a cane for a staff. I've got, like I said, the beard. We'll do a big grey t-shirt so it looks like the outfit. Yep, no worries. I go to dye yesterday. And of course it's polyester. Polyester does not bleach. Polyester does not take dye, even though you've bought the synthetic dye to I'm like, yep, all right. Today I've got to go buy some grey paint, just normal paint and spray paint it, spray paint it. And hopefully that will give us a concoction. Otherwise he's going with the black and that will be fine. But while I was dyeing it, I'll throw a piece of Ada in to dye too. And then I just threw in a couple other colours. That is a random piece of 14 count. Because I had it folded in, I've got fold lines, but I think because it's a tree and we're going, I can work with that. And yeah, it's more reddy brown. Um, no one's dark side there. More ready brown this side to grey splotches. For my first attempt of dyeing Ada, I thought I did okay. Like I said, I wanted this mottled the sort of brownie grey um, background for this pattern that I kept thinking about. Now, the pattern has three colours of DMC. A black, a four, five, three, and a white. So, let's see if I can show it nicely. I probably can't, I'm not that talented. Get a bit of fluff off. Other than the four, five, three, I think they're all going to, like the black and the white is going to show up on that. Even the 453, I think that's supposed to be skin colour and it's surrounded. I think that's actually going to stand out, but I can play with that colour. I thought, ooh, I'd like to see what I come up with that, with that one. So, 
Yes, that's what I've been playing around with yesterday and this morning because I'm uh, quick. Um, what have I been working on? What have I been working on? Oh my goodness. Um, it's been about two weeks um, since my last foot lost you. Um, let me check. The 6th of August. So, yeah, 15 days, I think, if my maths is correct. I can't say that my maths is correct today. I have been working on the Heaven and Earth cell for 2024. I am doing Bernadette. If you've been here before, you have seen Bernadette. I was calling it him, a screaming chicken. I've been calling. Um, the artwork is by Richard Lorenz. Let me show you the artwork. Um, if you haven't been before, welcome. Welcome to the crazy. I think I'm a little bit more scatterbrained today than I have been in the past, but that is okay. I'm sorry, I'm just looking up the information. So, all the parts I've got so far for my beautiful chicken or bird or whatever she is. Like I said, screaming chicken seemed like a great name for her. Um, those last three part, part pages get released the 1st of October. Um, if we finish it by the end of the year, which is my plan, I get two free patterns as well as the other nine patterns of the cell. Um, if you're willing to put it, honestly, okay, honestly, I know you're not seeing my beautiful face, but honestly, if one of these cells come up again and you have a year to dedicate it to, I think it's a good bargain. I think I paid $10 to get into the cell. So prices will probably change over the time. Um, you get a choice of what pattern you want to do. If you do the four, four full pages, they tell you which pages count. Um, you'll get the rest of the cell options. So it's an encouragement. And then if you finish, another encouragement is some free patterns from Heaven and Earth Design website. So that is my motivator. However, because I've put in, I will be putting in, this is my focus for the year. My other focuses have been way late. If you're a quicker stitcher than I am, you would have got it done. Um, with, I am very much a chop and change and lots of, um, so yes. But there is my, Bernadette. Oh, I'm getting the bottom there. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering why this border is not the same as this border and looks for this border, it looks like a counting error. When we were original, uh, originally told the pattern was going to end there, give or take, and then we were released. So we do have the option to stop about there and not stitch these last about that wide down. But I actually like the full flower. When I got found out about it, I'd already stitched to the edge and I just thought my counting was off. So I was just like, yep, no, we'll just, I can still, I've, it's not right to the edge, so I'm not too bad. So yes. Um, some statistics for that one. I have stitched that one. Little, little. Great tongue moves today. Since you saw it last time, 3,333 stitches. I could not do that if I tried. Um, if I'd planned that, I would not have got it. it randomly, 3333. Three, three, three. Yep. Um, out of the portions we've got so far, I'm sitting at 79.27%, which is 68.5% of the total piece. So I think I'm in an okay position. I have apparently 2,000. If you went weird dark, my TV turned off. So my TV is behind you out there. Um, 
in the out there world. So it might have changed colour and whatnot. Um, to, uh, 20,589 stitches left. I've got another 500 to do this week because I'm trying to do at the moment 1,500. <coughs> Sorry. So the beginning of the year, I was doing so many stitches a day and I changed to 1,200 stitches a week. Yep, that was going great. And then I'm like, okay. And if I stayed at 1,200, I believe I still finish it but it's right at the end of December and I'm like that sort of scared me honestly so I've gone right I want to finish the last week of November the first week of December which may change people things like that happen um but yeah if I finish about then one Christmas gets busy we might go away I don't know I've got a, a bit more freedom so 1,500 stitches a week at the moment finishes me end of November, first week of December in that because I think it splits in the middle. Um, I can't remember. So yes, 500 more stitches this week. I have almost finished my second page. I've only finished one page of her, which is this page in here. I'm almost finished this, so I've finished page three, I've almost finished page two. Um, yes, just because I've been going, it's not really extreme cross country. On this one, I'm working different to how I normally work, but um, it's definitely a cross country piece. I was working on one strand of the highest number, so for ages it was 310, and then one strand of a random other colour in near where I've been working. Now I've been working on, I think my two colours are 400 and 815, which just happened to be, hang on, in here, these little bits of filling confetti bits, which is why I'll almost be completing that page. So still going, it was roughly the highest number or one of the random high numbers up the, and I want to finish that colour, but it was a, a random thread, thread maybe of the lower number and lower numbers that might've been only like three stitches. So I'd get rid of that colour. Sometimes there was 400 stitches. So I was, and depending on if there was more colours of that second colour near where I was working I might keep that one out till I finish the colour or I might go right because it's all over the pattern I'd go I'll change that second colour as a random colour but keeping my first main high colour until I um, finished it sort of giving me structure if that makes sense so that I can reach the other pieces um, like I was having, there were two colours, oh, like two stitches of colour in here and that's all I needed, but it was too far away to count. Um, I was doing it with the earring piece here as well. I'm like, I've just got like that one stitch and if I get close, I can just knock off that colour. So having a little bit of structure means you can work all over your pattern. So... Yay! That's my Bernadette. My screaming chicken. Um, so that's what I'm working on today. Um, I like to work that at the beginning of the week because sometimes I can knock out my 1500 stitches in about three days. Last week I think I got 500 stitches, 500 stitches and then I was like 200 stitches. Hang on, I will tell you. They were really bad stitching days. 561 stitches one day, 518 stitches the next day, 207 stitches, 165 stitches, and then 90 stitches. That was all I was capable of. Life got in the way. So, yes. Um, but that's okay. Like I 
like I said, they were just bad stitching days. But I did stitch on those days, so. Um, then under my plans, because I'd done, I knocked the mouse and my TV came up again. Lighting, yay! Um, my plan book. I got another category which was Heaven and Earth Designs because I'd finished a page on one of my patterns. I can't remember which one. Um, so I gained a category. No, sorry. I've moved my string so And money. Um, in the new category, I chose Veil Nebula. I am doing the supersized Veil Nebula from Heaven and Earth Designs, which is a NASA photo. It looks amazing. Um, I have looked at the mini ones, like where people have been stitching them, and they look amazing. For some reason, I thought this one needed, yes, all the big... This is my Stitch Forever one. I am stitching this for one of my sons, who is nine. And I told him the end date should be when he's 30. So apparently the children are all getting, because my older stepson is getting a piece on his 30th birthday too. I think the plan is 30th birthday, they get big pieces. I'm giving myself 20s or more to stitch projects for children. Woo. This is on 22 count, hard angle. Uh, I'm doing, well, hang on, no, I changed. I was doing three over one tenth stitch. I am going to continue three over one tenth stitch for the black, but the other colors, I am doing one over one full cross. Um, Full cross for structure, the tenth stitch in black purely because, and three over one tenth stitch for some of the colours was becoming too bulky, but I need the three over one for the black for the coverage, if that makes sense. So all my beautiful black will be three over one tenth, all my other colours that are coming through, so that's what all this random confetti looking bits so other colors coming through um is going to be full cross one over one so how i'm working on this one is square 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 sort of because the length is going further down i need enough on this square or the previous square i need enough down for the next square to be able to come down um, that is all filled in. Those stars coming out beautifully. This is a 900 by 999 stitches by 666 stitches. It is a big one. It is a lifer one. I am not starting another super size one until this one is done. Otherwise, why? Um, it will be a focus piece next year once I've finished my screaming chicken. I did put in a thousand and forty six stitches. It is sitting at three point two six percent. I have been working on I've completed one page. I've almost completed a second page. I think I've got stitches in eight pages. Eight pages and I'm at three point two six percent. Admittedly, one of those pages, I think, has 10 stitches, but that's not the point. 3.26% while touching eight pages. It is a big piece. Um, so, yes. And that is also why I have a big pile of material. I do not need all this material, but I have a big pile of material to go with this. I am not cutting the material until I get my corners um, just in case the measurements not quite right for the sides of it so I want my corners in and I want 
than to give myself a decent border. It's, um, yes. Yes. I have bought all the, well, what I assume, all the black I need for it. I think the pattern called for 70 skeins of 310. I think I ended up buying 120 skeins of 310, just in case. When I bought it from the, so I bought like the 20 as I was going, and I'm like, no, I really need to get all bulk 310, just in case of dye lot changes. So I'd ordered 100, and um, my local shop, gives me a phone call and they're like, are you sure you're ordering a hundred skates? I'm like, yes, I'm sure I'm ordering a hundred skates. Thank you for checking, but yes, I'm ordering that many. <laughs> but that's it. Um, yes, so one I definitely don't need to work on more. There are other ones that need to be finished before that. So it's like a balance. Um, and then for so at the moment, height is my last category. So then I jump back up to the beginning under focus. Now the button is sort of jumping to the beginning in my book. Was that because I stitched on five different things, I got to choose out of one of those five. Until I get to five, I had to choose something different. So orange highlighter to say which one I chose, and then I've Put it down again to say that I chose my butterflies, a bamboo of butterflies. What's the dimensions kit? It's got copyright on the material from 2003. I think I started the kit about 2010. I do not have a cover photo. I have no idea where that is. Um, I do have butterfly cake going up. But this is what I've been working on. This one's finished. Um, I've worked on a little bit of this butterfly, so coming in with more of those yellow colours, and I was working in these colours of the bamboo. I did put in 728 stitches. So, so the idea of this one at the moment was, because it's sort of a, it's an all over piece, one colour in the butterfly, a one length thread in the butterfly, one length of thread in bamboo. Once I've finished the butterfly, it'll be one length of bamboo, one length of back stitching because it's all back stitched. Um, the bamboo's got this leaf comes over here, I think a leaf comes through here, and then I've got to go all the way to the top, but um, a shoot of bamboo. So, yep. I do actually like the colours on this one. Been sitting around for so long I definitely need to finish it yes so that's all I've worked on um, because after in the plans book would have been um, after my focus was a close to a finish of which yellow highlighter means if um, I have finished that piece so those ones that are all finished um, so I couldn't choose um, the one piece with it. And I chose my mini calendar. And so wherever my mini calendar November was, I've highlighted that yellow to say, I've actually completed a fit, um, a piece. So I was like, yay. Always nice to finish. But my love is my full coverage, is honestly. Um, yes, I, I do love my full coverages. Mind you, Things like this, they just look beautiful too. So, yes, oh, I've been rambling. I have definitely been rambling. Um, when I finish the 500 pieces, 500 pieces, 500 stitches, or when I've finished the length thread after that, so it should be a bit more than 500 pieces. I then work on, that'll be a large full coverage, 
another a calendar piece. Honestly, probably be the, um, I might get a fourth project in, but I don't know um, after calendar is a fancy lady. Um, large full coverage, I believe. I've worked on five different projects. So I choose one of these five um, to do. Potentially will be Drove the Sunset which is the man on the horse um, silhouette with the sun's sunset that will be in my opening credits because um, I have finished that piece and doing it a second time it's a lovely piece um, Fiona Jude designs or country threads um, is where that comes from other I can choose anything other than baby so I'll just that's up Sunset and fairy tale, and then calendar. Calendar is a hard one. Um, I put calendar down originally as part of the plans to get that mini calendar series through. <coughs> um, excuse me. So I'm going to cover up the calendar type pieces. I might. I think. Um, do and then fancy lady I've got to choose something different from I feel I haven't written one of my fancy ladies down because I did London I did the London lady oh, I've got to check my notes for that because a lot of the categories are up to restitching something because we've reached five other than the smaller colour degrees where I've been finishing the pieces so yeah thank you for sticking around I'm off to sort out book week costumes I oh, say so I told you my boy uh, what my boys were um, doing my niece is going to be little miss lucky so um, I've got to um, do the hack for her I like the it's like a gingham blue hat which will actually will have her head in the hat and have eye holes um, come to her shoulder so I've got to do that with a bit of lace trim almost like a pillowcase um, but I'll do the cor I'll round off the corners so it's more round but yeah so that's what I'm doing for her so and then I've got to make her gloves Yes, but I've got another week for her, so that's that's not as stressful. Thanks for listening to my ramble. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. I am over this weather and sick children. Um, I I think that's why I just needed to come and get on this, um, do this video, and I'm not prepared because I wanted to do it on Monday. And I had two children home. And then I wanted to do it yesterday. And I had one child home. I'm like, you are going to school today. Luckily, they were better for school. But I was just like, I'm working five days a week now. As well as mum duties. And, um, yeah. I just needed... My plans went out the window, so it's like, yep, yeah. it's okay. I love my children. I'm actually enjoying life at the moment. I'm tired, honestly, I'm tired, but um, I'm, yeah. Thanks, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you next time. I hope you're getting lots of stitching and love hearing about what you're stitching on. And. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry about the not doing the um the giveaway bit. I will do that next video. My head should be in a better space by then and yeah. probably be about two weeks when I see you next. So everyone stay safe and see you next time. Bye for now.